sometimes I just be calm when I'm out driving on country roads. I didn't feel like thinking or feeling like I was going to lay back and let the world go by my windshield. I'm just going to stare into it like mesmerized, kind of hypnotic trance and watching TV. And I just sort of uh, sit in my comfortable seat, comfortably watching the dull world go by my car, like watching TV. In a lot of ways, as well as a, an escape, it was a defiance of boundaries, you know, a defiance of a lot of rules. Cars are supposed to be kept clean. I. I washed my car like maybe once. I never waxed it in the like three or four years that I owned the car. It was always dirty. It was famous for being so dirty you couldn't see the, what color it was. Curbs, edges of streets were no boundary to me. I just drive right over them. Wherever I wanted to drive, I was there. I'd surprise people. Squeal around curves, go too fast, you know back up, park where I wasn't supposed to. I could treat it bad, and it would still run for me, you know. I, I'd hardly ever take care of it. I'd hardly ever um, maintain it like you were supposed to. The engine was always gritty and dirty. It sort of took care of itself. All, a lot, I had a lot of jerry-rigged parts on it, too, like things that weren't really supposed to be on there. Uh, the only name that seemed to stick with the car was the Beast. Uh, it wasn't really much of a personal name, like somebody would name a car most of the time. It was more like an entity beast or animal, maybe, probably within me, a quality, you know, a beast in myself. Because a lot of times, especially when the muffler was broken off, there was just times that I could not hold that car down. I felt like a real race driver. I felt like I was in some kind of a, I, I was really romanticizing this kind of fantasy while it was happening. It was like I was driving in some kind of chase movie or something.